Ideal. See you down there. You all good? Yeah, I think so. You have a lot of carabiners there. Yeah, I prefer to have this kind of up here. All oh, right. Level with my eyes. I've never tried that. Yeah, rather than down here, I like to have it above me because I can keep an eye on what's going on here then. Good. All seems to be in order. And there he goes. Yeah. Bit of loose rock here, all else good. Nice shaft. See you at the bottom. See you at the bottom. You're down the shaft. What are you doing? Trying to get the uh, camera to work. <laughs> Look oh. what we found here. I think, we, I think we hit the jackpot. It's an old coffin level. Let's have a look then. Oh my god. How about this then? <laughs> so if you turn behind us for a sec, we've come down, you can see daylight. We've come down. Look at that and, one. Um, yeah, this, what, this, what, what we've come down is an old stope, an open stope or a shaft, which has actually cut through this old coffin level, because you see the floor below us has been mined out and the roof has been mined out all the way to the surface. So after this level, this old level was abandoned, they've stripped out all of the vein and they've actually chopped it in two halves, but it carries on this way and that way. And it's amazing. Pretty cool. Let's go see where it goes. And you can see all the pick marks. Look. Yep. And there's even a shot hole. So it's been widened at a later date. You see down there, there's a shot hole diagonal. I can see it. Yeah. yeah. So at a later point, that alcove has been sort of blasted out. They possibly were re-examining it at some point. What do you reckon of that then, folks? Isn't that amazing? There's a big, uh, big gap in the floor there to get across to that level. So I have to kind of climb up there, I think. Something's been storing um, acorns. Squirrels, probably, if you see them there. Oh, yeah. Let's check out this level then. It's very muddy, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Yeah, it has been. There's one little alcove has been widened for some reason. There's one shot hole here. So we're back into the coffin profile here again. So this level is probably similar date to the one behind the waterfall. Um, we know that this mine, that this, this hillside, was worked by the, um, the lessees of the Society of Mines Royal, which was the late 1500s, early 1600s. And this is a classic type of level that was driven by them, because they used German engineers and German miners and the coffin levels in Germany, Saxony in this period, are the exact same profile as this. So I reckon we've got a German level here, probably dating from the early to mid 1600s by the style and the company that was working at the time. Good echo as well. <laughs> it is. Mm -hmm. And if you look closely, you can see the pick marks. Look, oh, there's a pick mark. Yep. And then the ceilings are better. Oh yeah, there's good ones up there. Good ones in the ceiling. So well, here we go. And it's rather warm. Do you know it would be cool to find engravings? Ah, oh, it would, wouldn't it? Oh, this is good. Wow. See, we're turning the corner here. Yes. And all the oh, no. Look at that. Right yeah. It's getting better and better as we go in as well. Wow, look at the profile of this. <laughs> We've hit the jackpot. Awesome, isn't it? This is good. I wonder why they turned. They're, they're searching for the vein. We're not on a vein yet, so they're obviously looking for it. But what made them see they got their pick marks there? Can you see those lines? Yeah, there? And I don't they know. just suddenly turned. Really weird, I don't know. Because they're not chasing the vein in here. There's no vein here. No. Oh, there's hydrogen oh, coming through the roof, which is quite nice. But no, you're right, there's no, uh, there's no vein. It's, getting, it's very narrow at the feet. This is a classic coffin level, isn't it? Yeah. It's the shape of it. See, it's the exact same of a person, the shape of a person. And it gets even smaller. Hence the name. Yep. And then more pet marks in the roof. Keep on going. All down the wall. Check it all out, all these. Oh, wow, this is superb. Pick marks again. What have they found? The, the profile of the level gets better than anything I've ever seen. It's very low. It gets 
superb up here. Check how low this is because Johan is only five foot six. Only. And I'm only five foot eight. <laughs> And uh, that is how low it is. This is back breaking. Oh, turn my torch off. Yeah. Back That's breaking, cool. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's incredible. It's uh, and it gets low very suddenly as well, doesn't it? It does. Behind me, God, that echo is superb. Behind me, it opens out again into a most superb triangle coffin profile, which is classic of the sort of well, it's more classic of the Roman coffin levels, if anything. But it, it, in any case, it's quite beautiful. It's quite amazing. Let's have a look then. Yeah, I'm this now. Oh wow, it's very narrow at the feet. And that is, that is what you call a coffin level in. Stunning. Do you want to stay there? I'm going to run along and get a picture. Yeah, I'm just saying it gets even better around the corner here. This, see your torch is standing up nice and straight now. Look at all the pick yeah. marks on the wall. It's, wow. um, you, you know what I reckon? It's changed profile because the first part it was more like a, that sort of shape. And it's changed now to being a triangle, and the triangle gets even better around the corner. So probably what it is, every group of miners would have had their own way of cutting their own levels, because they would have had the way that worked for them, what they thought was most efficient. So what we're probably looking at here is a change in the group of people, German miners or Welsh miners or English miners, who actually took over the extending of the level. So we're talking about a different group of people here. Um, especially around here, it gets a lot bigger. Look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. That is, I mean, the flat roof. We didn't have that at the beginning. No. This incredible flat roof, we didn't have that at all. They've the made room for themselves, yeah, Yes, to work. absolutely, absolutely. This has got to be the best ever oh, yeah. level absolutely. we've been in, isn't it? Because it changes profile. I mean, you don't get that in many places. Pick marks all down the roof. So the Victoria miners probably didn't obviously left this bit because it, there was nothing here to dig Absolutely. out. Absolutely. And we're very lucky because normally they would widen these out. I've seen a few in the area where one half of the level is a coffin level yeah. and the other half is not because they've widened one side to put in a railway. But this one has been left completely undisturbed. It's, it's uh, something else. Mud down <laughs> And it changes again. It changes again. Oh, man, look at those marks over there. I just spotted. Whoa. And it changes again. Look this is like this. a slit. Like, this is superb. Look at this. Look at the shape of that. It's so narrow. It's like a slit. Whoa, it's just getting Jeez, how different is that? It's barely nine inches wide at the floor. Yeah. That is crazy. These marks on the wall behind you. Quite amazing, aren't they? I wonder how old they are. I'd say that all of this we're talking at least 17th century, so 1600s. Somebody here was swinging his pick. Because gunpowder came into common use in the, in the century oh, after that. So. Look, that's the end of the, where yeah. the pick has been hitting. So the what they did the was they used what were called gads which are basically picks with a hammered end and short chisel bits. And they use these curved gads to create the coffin levels as long picks. Look at them picks. All. Yeah. A few hundred years old there. <laughs> Somebody's left their mark a few hundred years ago. It's like graffiti in a kind of way. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it? You know? And by a few hundred years, what are we saying? We're saying 400 years ago. 400 years old, at least. Let's go down there then. We can hear something. What the? Is someone walking around? Can you hear that, folks? What is it? Can you hear that? It's getting louder. <laughs> well, we don't know what it is. That is crazy. We're the only ones in here. What do you reckon, Jan? That 
It sounds like someone walking, like sludging through the mud. It does. It's too loud to be anything else. There's no water falling yet. There's no, there's no water coming through the roof. There's no, no. Wow, amazing. 